David Seabon, a professor of mechanical engineering from the University of Cambridge, has just coined a very controversial statement. He believes that fuel cell electric trucks will have no role to play in the future of zero emissions transport. Yes, you heard that right. Not only in short haul, but also the long haul trucking market. This statement certainly raises a lot of eyebrows, especially if you consider some of the biggest truck OEMs on earth, whether it be Volvo, Daimler, or Hyundai, who are pouring billions of dollars into their own fuel cell electric programs. Are they wasting their time and money? And is there truly no way that the total cost of ownership of fuel cells can come on par with battery electric? Well, that question is exactly what I want to address in this video. But as usual, guys, before you get into it, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So to start things off, let's break down the inspiration behind this video, which was this opinion article from Hydrogen Insight, where a professor of mechanical engineering from the University of Cambridge coined the idea that battery electric trucks will indeed be more than three times as cheap to run than hydrogen models but we also be able to perform the same tasks. It's been very well known that for shorter haul applications, less than 300 to 500 miles, lithium ion batteries can sufficiently produce enough power and range to satisfy the requirements for most fleets and owner operators. But David Seabon here believes even for the long haul market, more than 750 miles, hydrogen fuel cells will not be cost competitive. Well, believe it or not, most OEMs and organizations within the US tend to completely disagree with what Mr. David has just said. And here's why. You see, first of all, fleet companies don't care about the cost as much as they do about practicality, flexibility, and the opportunity cost of running a vehicle. Yes, a diesel electric powertrain is cheaper than a battery electric solution, but companies and OEMs are still investing in battery electric trucks because they offer much cleaner environments and a better driving experience for short haul applications. Especially when you consider the fact that the average diesel big rig in the US has a range of more than 1500 miles, having a high range tends to be a big ticking off factor for most fleets. Because obviously right now, the best battery electric truck on the market by the name of the Tesla Semi can barely achieve 500 miles. And guess what? Unlike the consensus belief on Wall Street, the higher refueling rates, the lower recharge times, and the bigger payloads that fuel cells can offer will actually translate into a lower total cost of ownership than battery electric. And I've been able to reach that conclusion with the help of a new study conducted by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, the biggest clean energy organization in America. In this study, Enrol conducted an apples to apples comparison between diesel, plug in hybrid, battery electric, and fuel cell trucks for both class eight and class four parcel delivery vehicles. And it's safe to say that the results are quite staggering. As you can see, comparing a fuel cell electric powertrain on the top versus a battery electric one on the bottom, right off the bat, the weight that a battery electric solution gains for higher mileage is exponentially faster than a fuel cell electric. Hydrogen gas is obviously very light, meaning if you wanna go from a truck for 500 miles range to 1,000 miles, you're not adding that much weight to the vehicle meaning you're not offsetting more of your cargo rating. The relative weight of a BEV is much higher than not only diesel, but fuel cell electric, compressed natural gas, and even hybrid electric. Even in the best case scenario, that deficit is more than 2,000 pounds, meaning you are eating up payload capacity, reducing your vehicle's range, and obviously increasing its charging time because obviously a bigger battery requires more energy to put into it. To achieve the same charging time as a smaller battery, you need to increase the power rating of your charging infrastructure for your battery electric solution. This not only strains the electric grid because electricity has to be produced at the same time as it is used, but it also means your operators will incur higher peak demand charges, especially if you're charging your battery electric truck during the day. Those costs are not specifically analyzed by this study, 
but it is something important to consider, especially as you invest in a larger and larger fleet. Fuel cells, obviously, on the other hand, do not strain the grid because hydrogen can be produced at a time that is completely different as when it is used. And that benefit becomes much more apparent when you're considering multi-shift weight-limited sleeper cabs, which, as you can see, can almost account for more than 60% of all scenarios analyzed here by NREL. All the boxes here in light blue are the ones which are volume limited, which means your trailer gets cubed out and you cannot really carry any more weight. And that's important because as you can see in a sleeper scenario, which accounts for almost 50% of the analyzed trucks, range and top up time is extremely important. So the incremental range offerings of fuel cells become more apparent because it means you have to refuel less and you're spending less time sitting at your depot. And believe it or not, that benefit does indeed translate into a lower total cost of ownership on a dollar per mile basis. As you can see in the 2025 case, a fuel cell electric powertrain here on the right is cheaper to run than a battery electric one in most cases. Yes, in brown, the fuel costs and the operating costs are higher for the fuel cell, but because of the payload and dwell opportunity costs offset by battery electric, the costs skyrocket. And even in a scenario where costs for fuel cells and lithium ion cells collapse by 40 to 50 percent, the battery electric solution is still more expensive to run than the fuel cell electric because the battery pack and module costs will still offset any gains in efficiency you see within the cells itself. And because of this, NREL does believe that for a 750 mile or more solution, the battery electric vehicle is not going to be the best idea. As a matter of fact, fuel cells are going to be the lowest cost zero emissions vehicle where they will still be competitive for 500 miles of range or under. Anything under 300 miles where you care much more about your efficiency and your upfront cost, battery electric solutions will be the lowest cost. But this definitely invalidates a lot of the arguments Mr. David Seabon in this article brought up. No, there is lots of data supporting fuel cells and batteries will both play a key role in the transportation industry. And it really is not a question about cost as much as it is about opportunity cost. Fuel cells offer a near one-to-one -one replacement of the workflow of most fleet operators, not to mention a much closer range to diesel or CNG. And believe it or not, these benefits are going to play a major role in the deciding factors for most customers, not just the upfront cost or operating costs of the vehicle. As usual, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I hope you found some value from this video. If you did, make sure to drop me a thumbs up. But as usual, guys, let me know your thoughts, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.